what was that like going to Africa to do that detail? Fuck Africa. You don't like Africa. Why? We got more shit going on in Compton than Africa. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. What's the furthest you ever went away for a detail? Africa. You went to Africa? Yeah, went, went on the detail with uh, Cap, you know, with Lennox Lewis. Really? You went, you, okay, what was, what was that like? We got to talk about that for Lennox Lewis? Yeah. Because yeah. he had a, he had a hell of a run. Hasim Rockman fights a fight with Hasim Rockman. What, what was that like going to Africa to do that detail? Fuck Africa. You don't like Africa. Why? We got more shit going on in Compton than Africa. <laughs> <laughs> what part of Africa did you go to? Johannesburg, Soweto, uh, Sun City. You, you, you see, if you see rap shows, black rap shows in Africa, you never see them in a building. Africans can't go into certain parts. Mm -hmm. of, uh, and so you tell me that you got such a strong country of Africa and you're 80% of the population and other people aren't but 20% of the 20% of the population, and they control your diamonds, control your ore, control your ore, I mean your oil, and all your minerals, 20%. And you trust in God, and he won't get rid of them 20% for you? We ain't but 12% of the population in America, and we got color TVs, microwaves, video games. We're not walking around barefooted. So what did I I wouldn't go in Africa if you paid me. So you saying that Africa is just... Uh, Oppressed and they they not the government doesn't help the the blacks in Africa or the chosen few they still do you realize in Africa you know why we started a driver's license before we didn't have to have driver's license in Africa under apartheid you had to have a card to go to anything out of your township and that card was for you to go to work in Johannesburg they got three steps. Three streets, three steps. The top step is for whites. The second step is for coloreds. The bottom step, is they call them for the kafiroon, for the devil, for black folks. If an African is caught on the top step, they kill him immediately and sweep the step down a whole week with bleach, <laughs> cleansing it from the kafiroon. That mentality ain't changed. What's it's the still the same what's today the in between, Africa? What's the difference between a colored and a kafir? A, a, a colored is an Arab, a Indian. A nappy head black is a kafir. Okay. And they the lowest of the low. The lowest of the low, and they still the lowest. And of that's the, low. the way they treat them today in Africa. Right now, just like they picking cotton in, in Huntsville. Yeah. Yeah, they being niggas in Africa. Does it depends on what part of Africa? It's all part. What what? What you hear good about Africa behind behind monkeys, gorillas, and tigers? You got some rich blacks there, but they, you got so much poverty. I mean, they, poverty. They, you know, you got multiple wives, five wives, and y'all stand in a uh, adobe hut. They ain't like they stand in mansions. The Nickerson Gardens, the projects in California, look better than some of their townships. So they, but and they then, come over here and, and, and a lot of times act as if everybody need to go to the Africa. Yeah, they act, but they don't go back. All them Africans that come over here, they marry them a white woman, get them a job, and I, I send money to my people, take your black ass back home. But when I be watching those African movies, which are um, filmed over there in Africa, some of those houses look, and these are black folks yeah. that you're seeing in these yeah, houses the, having the maids, brother just told and you, maids and chauffeurs and everything yeah, else. Brother just told you, uh, you're on your cat, that wasn't my house. I did the filming in the house, but I had to go home. <laughs> you looking at MG, MTV Cribs, that ain't they house. So that's you said, a prop. That's a prop. They, they just setting it up like that. You know? But when you go over there, being in your experience, when you you seen it with your own eyes, yeah. that they don't treat people. We had we, we had a shake. And, 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 and this shake is over there. He, now, now, Shahid, yeah, I, I love this brother because he's an optimist. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a pessimist. I believe every day it's going to rain. And if the sun shine, I thank Allah for the sun shining. But I'm bringing a raincoat. Just in case, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I look for the worst in shit. If the best happened, it's a blessing. But if the worst happened, I expect it, mm -hmm. right? So they had this little shaky about four foot three, and he got one gray eye, right? 
And he's talking about, oh, yes, brother, uh, Allah has blessed me and uh, Allah does this. And he tells Captain he wants us to give him a go, right? So he's telling him about he has this big tiger's tooth on his uh, shirt, right, uh, uh, around. And he says when he, how Allah blessed him so much, the Ayatollah, he doesn't believe in me. I can tell he's not, he doesn't, he doesn't believe. Hell no, I'm from Compton. You know what I'm saying? So he tells us a story when he was told, he said it was a lion that ravaged their village and was eating up people in the village. And he prayed. And when he prayed, Allah sent him out to the forest. And the lion came and he stabbed and killed him. And all he got is little memes behind. Yeah, yeah, that happened. And this, that's the lion's tooth right there. He had killed him at 12 his story, right? And he says that now he became Noah. They had a big flood that was coming and he put his staff down and he put his staff in the water, stopped before he killed all the people, right? So I said, well, Shay, if you did all that and Allah blessed you to kill a lion and stop water, how come you can't ask a lot to kill these 20% pack of woods that's running your, oh, brother, you can, how can, that ain't nothing for him, huh? The fuck you telling me? I wish I would give you a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's crazy, yeah. man. Thank you so much, Ayatollah, man. Ayatollah, man, it's always a pleasure, man. I can't wait, you know what I mean? I can't wait to have you on the show every time you come to town, man. From Bumpton, California. So yeah. Man. Now, now we ain't, like Melvin Farmer say, we don't set trip, we set trends. And when I say Bumpton, California, we really, you be saying Bumpton like, man, First of all, Compton, California is the black first black run city west of the Mississippi. 1970, we had a black mayor, black city council, black police chief, black fire chief, and I got, like I tell you, my feelings is awful hurt, but I, I said this on a podcast, and they start showing me Rosewood and all these other, their communities, they were never a town. I said the first black run city west of the Mississippi, and I stand on that with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I, tell, I was telling this, the, I, I was saying how the honor of Elijah Muhammad, between Captain Shahima, I really respected my dad. My dad died when I was 13. And he showed me all my geographical, how to east and west, and showed me how to deal with niggas and the whole shot. But in life, when I got into the nation in 1964, the honor of Elijah Muhammad, he tells, he says, by the time you see who the devil really is. When he takes his veil off, you'll be so much like him, it won't even shock you, right? Wow. And when I was growing up, if you heard about somebody killing their babies, you knew it was white people. Today, you gotta watch the news. It's a nigga there. Damn. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.